Ah, oh. hi there. Namaste. Ah, oh, we have a friend with us today. This is Tilda. She likes to join in sometimes. If it's not the cat, it's the dog. She thought she'd make an appearance. So today we're going to do a practice that really focuses on the solar plexus chakra. That's the point below the heart, above the belly. Um, it's, in Sanskrit, it's called Manipura. And it's here that we often feel a lot of excess energy. So if you're really stressed, if you're overwhelmed, if life's too much, if you're feeling very hurt, if someone's upset you, it often not only do we feel it in the heart, we often feel it down here in the solar plexus chakra. Sometimes you can feel a burning pain there that's a little bit similar to the heartache that you can feel across the anahata, across your chest. Okay, so we're gonna work to release this with some mantra, some pranayama and some asana. Now I've made two versions of this video. This one is for beginners, so it's a little bit more gentle um, with the pranayama because that's quite strong. We're gonna do breath of fire, kalabati. Um, so if you want to progress on after you've done this one, maybe try the more advanced one. So kalabati, breath of fire, Tilda's just decided to sit in the way of my belly, but we're just gonna let her be here because she's a lovely Zen healing dog sometimes. So you're gonna bring your hand onto your belly, bring your right hand onto your belly so you can really feel it. Bring your left hand can just sit on your thigh. Breath of fire looks and sounds like this. Now you can see that as I'm taking an exhale, I'm really drawing my belly back in quite strongly. I'm not focusing too much on the inhale. It's coming in quite gently. It doesn't, if, it, if I was doing both ways, it would sound like this. And then I'd be pretty much hyperventilating. It's really important. If you do feel dizzy or lightheaded during this, please stop, don't do it. Also, if you're pregnant, I would probably know, you probably would have told me, but if uh, you're pregnant or you might be pregnant, it's not good to do this one, okay? So otherwise you'll be fine. So we're gonna do this. I want you to just try it out a little bit. So just close your eyes, bring your hands onto your belly so you can feel that. And as you exhale, draw that belly back in towards your spine. And as you inhale, it's gonna just relax and come back to its normal position. You're really focusing on that exhale out through the nose. Get some tissue if you might need that. So you're not exhaling out, 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 out until there's no air left. There is an inhale there, okay? Brilliant. So you can pause and repeat this video as many times as you need to get that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this for this beginner's one, we're gonna do three rounds of 20 breaths, okay? So I'm gonna do the counting, you don't need to worry, okay? So just close your eyes, bring your hands onto your thigh or onto your dog, take a deep breath in. You could keep your hands there on your belly if you want to, your right hand, or just bring it down onto your thigh. And just take a nice few deep breaths and really feel what's happening inside you today what's happening in your solar plexus. The color for the solar plexus Manipura is yellow. It's called the sun. It's like the sun energy, the solar energy, the fire energy. And we wanna get rid of some of that burn, that real burn that we can feel there. So we're gonna do this three rounds of 20 breath of fire, Kalabati breaths, okay? <clears throat> so take a deep breath in to begin. And when you're ready. Good, deep breath in. A long exhale. Another deep breath in. To begin. Deep breath in, long exhale, and another deep breath in to begin. Good, deep breath in, and a long exhale. And then just bring your hands together at your heart. 
just let them rest there. <clears throat> and in the second video that I'm gonna make, we're gonna do that Kalabati Breath of Fire whilst holding some of the postures, but we're not gonna do that in this beginner's one because that would just be a little bit too strong. But we are gonna also work now with a mantra. So this mantra, you can leave your hands at your heart for a moment. You could keep your eyes closed. Um, this mantra works with um, the Hindu god Ganesh. Um, he's the elephant god that you've probably seen uh, many times in Indian mythology. Ganesh helps us to remove obstacles. He's the remover of obstacles or blocks. So he's very good to help us here because often what we need to feel better in the solar plexus is just for some kind of block, which is often the ego, to be removed. When we move more into spirit, we can find a calm and a peace and suddenly our problems don't disappear, but we're not so upset by them. We don't feel so hurt by the external world or what someone said to us. So it's not always easy to do this, to remove blocks, but what Ganesha does is he doesn't come in, say there's a mountain in your way, blocking your path. He doesn't come in and move the mountain. He doesn't do that kind of miracle. He just helps you to perhaps perceive that mountain slightly differently and to find the path that takes you around the mountain to the other side. So he doesn't actually literally whisk your problems away. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But that doesn't happen for anyone, however long you've been practicing yoga. What he does is he helps you to remove that obstacle in yourself that is standing in the way of you finding your path or your next step or removing your suffering. So this mantra isn't the easiest mantra. So I've written it down phonetically below this video. So you might wanna just make sure that you double check that before you, um, before you do this with me. Have a quick look now. Um, so the mantra is Om Gam Gana Pata Hiya Namaha. <laughs> okay, so it's quite a mouthful, but when you think of it phonetically, it's not actually that hard. And there's something about these Sanskrit mantras I always find, they do come, might not come straight away. What you can do in the meantime is just have a go and don't worry too much if it comes out a bit gobbledygook at first, just have a go. Let's go through it really slowly first, okay? So just close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and say with me, Om Gam Gana Pata Heya Nama Ha. Om Gam Gana Pata Yea Nama Ha. Om Gam Gana Pata Yea Nama Ha. Om Gam Gana Pata Hey Nama Ha. Om Gam Gana Pata Yea Nama Ha. Good. Okay. So we're going to use the mala beads again. We're going to take our 108 mala beads. Don't worry if you haven't got any of these. You can get them. Again, I'll pop it under the video where you can get them from me. Um, but you don't have to have these, okay? But these are 108 mala beads. 108 is, 108 is a sacred number. And chanting Om Gam Ganapatahi and Namaha 108 times won't take long. You'd be surprised, especially when you really get your tongue around it. You'll have that done in a few minutes, okay? And it's lovely to practice this, if possible, once a day, um, just as <clears throat> if you're going through something really difficult. I've also put a link to a YouTube video below this to take you to a lovely version of this mantra, which if you don't find it easy to say it, you can just listen to it, okay? So we're just gonna chant 27. So we're gonna do one quarter of this 108 mala bead. I'm gonna say it quite quickly and I want you to just do it as best you can, okay? The more you try, the more you will get it, okay? So close your eyes, take a long, slow, deep breath in. A long, slow, deep breath out. And a deep breath in. And we'll begin. Om gam gana patahiya namaha. 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 
Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataheya Namaha. Om Gangana Patehe Namaha. Just bring your hands together. And just allow the resonance, the vibration of that very sacred, beautiful, ancient mantra. Just to assimilate and integrate around your energy body. Good. Bring a little smile to your face. Wonderful. Blink your eyes open. Let's start to move. So I'm going to put my mala to one side. I'm going to have to move my little Tilda. She enjoyed that. Right, off you go, Tilly. Good. So we're going to come round to all fours. Take a couple of little inhales to look up. And exhale to tuck under. Inhale to look up and exhale to tuck under. We're then going to tuck under the toes and come to a down facing dog. So we're going to go back into our down dog. Draw your belly in. Be aware of your manipura, your solar plexus chakra. Have a good stretch here. Nice deep breaths. Gazing back between your knees. You're then going to lower back down to your knees and we're going to come into our first pose that's really good for that solar plexus fire chakra. So you're going to come onto your forearms and then you're going to step one foot back and we're going to come into a shishulasana plank. So it's like a low plank. So we're coming down. Be really aware of your belly. You're then going to take that weight into the right foot and step the left foot back into your shishulasana plank. You're looking down between your thumbs. Pushing back into your heels, draw your belly in, shoulders back and down. So in the second video I'm going to make, we're going to do our little Kalabati breath of fire whilst holding here. But for now, we're not going to do that. We're just going to take nice, long, slow, deep breaths. In and out. And we're going to breathe and focus into that fire center, into that Manipura solar plexus. One more breath, a deep breath in. And exhale, come back down onto your knees and just take a moment back into child. Bring the forehead down. Lovely. And then come forwards again, come back onto your forearms. This time, see if you can interlace your fingers. So your elbows are um, about shoulder width apart. You've interlaced your fingers. Now you're going to come into a little dolphin pose. So you're going to tuck the toes under and lift the tailbone high. So it's like a down dog now. So rather than being forwards with the shoulders above the elbows, we're pushing back. Make sure your feet are hip width apart, nice and firm, grounded through the arms. Draw the belly in, gaze back between the ankles. You might find your head almost wants to touch the floor. Feel like you're lifting it away slightly. Ankles, um, heels, sorry, won't come anywhere as close as they might normally in a down dog. Strong in your arms, hold as long as you can, release if you need. You can always lower and come back up. Draw your belly in and again, be aware of Manipura, of your fire. Deep breaths. <clears throat> And then lower back down to your knees and again take it back into a child's. Maybe come onto your elbows and just give the wrists a little rotate to come back down and hold here. Good. From there we're going to inhale to all fours, tuck the toes under, exhale to a down dog. We're going to do a few rounds of dancing warrior. We're going to inhale, lift the right leg high, exhale, swing it through. Lower your left heel down, inhale, come up, warrior one. As you exhale, open it out to warrior two. 
<clears throat> looking beyond your right middle finger, watch this right knee stays above your ankle. Turn your right palm up, inhaling back. Peaceful warrior. As you exhale, side angle, forearm to knee, left arm comes over. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. And then exhale, windmill the hands, step back, down facing dog. Inhale, left leg's going high. Exhale, swing it through, lower the right heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it out, warrior two. Turn your left palm up. Inhale, peaceful warrior, look up to your left palm. Exhale, forearm to knee, side angle, come all the way over, looking up and under your right arm. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. And then exhale, windmill the hands, come back, down facing dog. We're gonna do that twice more. Inhale, right leg goes high. Find your breath, exhale, swing it through, lower the left heel, inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, find your dance, find your flow, turn the right palm up, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back down, facing dog, inhale, left leg goes high. Exhaling through, lower the right heel, inhale, come up, warrior one, find your breath. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to your peaceful. Exhale to side angle. Inhale, coming up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill. Step back, down facing dog. Let's just take a moment just to breathe before we do the last round. Ah, nice release as you hold your down dog stretch. And then last round, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, swing through, lower the left heel, inhale. Find that flow as you come up, warrior one. Warrior two as you exhale. Warrior, peaceful warrior as you inhale. And exhale. Inhale, warrior two, and exhale, hands to the mat, down facing dog. Inhale, left leg, exhale, bring it through, right heel lowers, inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, left palms up, inhale, peaceful, and exhale, forearm to knee, Right arm comes over, inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill. Step back to plank now, take it to plank, lower to the mat, elbows in, shoulders down. Inhale to a cobra. Close your eyes and just breathe into that solar plexus energy center, ground into your thighs, tops of your feet. And then slide it back onto your knees. Take your knees a bit wider and sit back onto your heels. Keep your hands extended, forehead to the mat. Just breathe into letting go. Good, and then walk your hands slowly back. Pushing up, bring your knees back together. Sitting in Varashana again, bring your hands onto your thighs. Just take a few calming, cooling breaths here to pause. And then we're gonna swing the legs round to sit. So swing your legs round and bring your um, feet in so you're bent like this, so your knees are bent like this. Okay, you're gonna lift up the toes. You can have the legs together or a little bit apart. We're gonna come into Navasara, boat pose, but I'm gonna show you, uh, as this is a beginner's practice, we're gonna do it various different ways, okay? So start with the feet slightly lifted up. You don't have to do that, it's quite nice. Bring the hands onto the, just cup the knees. Start to lean back, don't let yourself collapse like this. Keep really lifted, shoulders down, lift the heart and chest, choose a gaze point straight ahead. Focus right here on this solar plexus, on this core. Feel really strong. 
Now you could stay here. If this is enough, you're just gonna stay like this. It's still really working, this abdominal area. If you're okay, release the knees and take the hands out so they're parallel to the floor, fingers facing in front of you. See how that feels. Again, keep working it here into the solar plexus. You could imagine this sun, this yellow energy here at your center, just letting go of anything excessive there, anything that's getting a bit stagnant, a bit stuck. We want it to go, we want to transmute that. Burn it, you know, the effect that fire has on anything. Feel that it's having that effect here to just strip away, cleanse and clear. Now, if you're all right here, you're gonna have a go at lifting your feet just a little way. And then if that feels okay, you're gonna lift them halfway. We're not gonna go any further than this in this practice. In the second video I make, we're gonna do our breath of fire whilst holding this pose, okay? So jump up to that one if you want to, otherwise you're looking to your big toes. We're gonna to stay here for three, four, And five, good, release it. Cross the legs, bring the hands to the sides, just lift up a moment onto the side of the feet and lower. And then come a little bit further along your mat, bring your, the soles of your feet together and just slowly take yourself back. You, you could bring your cushion in for Supta Baddha Konasana, but today I'm just gonna lie flat, bring my heels in towards my body, Give my knees a little bit of encouragement down. Bring the hands right there onto your solar plexus. And there, we're just gonna pause and breathe and be aware of what's happening inside that chakra, that energy center. Take a really deep breath in and a really long exhale out. Breathing in oxygen, pranic energy into the body and letting go as you release your exhale. Let go of all that old energy that needs to go now. Breathe in vitality, Exhale, old wounds and hurts, pain. Breathe in life, breathe in life force as you inhale. And as you exhale, let go of all that bruising that the ego has suffered. Oh, the poor, poor ego gets so hurt so easily. Ego wants to prove itself right all the time, wants to keep us comfortable all the time, works so hard to make sure that we're okay. It's exhausting and it hurts. The ego suffers so much. So just feel you can let go of that now. Let go of those hurts and those pains or those resentments or grudges. Feel instead a love for yourself. A compassion for others and understanding for others. Forgiveness. Kindness. and just let yourself slip and relax into a deeper truth beyond all of that, beyond those hurts and wounds. A deeper, deeper truth where there is peace, where suffering is alleviated by light. A place a place close to divine source where ego cannot exist. Let it all melt away as your body sinks into the floor here. And 
And you can stay in this position with your soles of your feet together. Or you might prefer to bring the knees together now. Take the arms out wide and drop the knees over to the right side, turn the head to the left. And inhale, come back to center and go to the left, turn the head to the right. And then inhale, come to center and let the legs go long. Bring the hands to your sides into Shavasana. And you can stay here as long as you can, as long as you'd like to. Enjoy.